CustomTactics.com here, and today we're looking at a sort of a modern day classic. It's the uh, Gerber LMF2 infantry knife, or I believe that's what they call it. It's a it's a fantastic knife, um, and it's not just uh, the design of the blade that makes it so so great, especially at uh, the kind of price you can get these for. I think online you can snag these puppies for 60 bucks or something like that. Um, they're about 100. 120 or something from uh, retail, but uh, about half that online. And these, first of all, come with a great sheath. This uh, this is a molly webbing on this sheath here, top and bottom. Also has um, elastic, uh, really heavy duty elastic um, leg strap, so you can strap this to to your calf or or ride it up a little bit higher around your around your thigh. Um, good for a drop drop sheet, uh, drop down from your belt holster and then around your thigh down here. Um, and, and it comes with both those straps. I don't have them here on the video, but they're, they're a similar color as this. So this is the, uh, I think they call this coyote brown or something like that, coyote tan um, version of the knife. Um, partially serrated blade. Uh, this version is, uh, I believe it's 420HC steel. It's a softer steel. It uh, won't you know? Won't won't hold its edge longer than than any of those super steels now. But it's it's a very serviceable steel, easy to sharpen in the field, um, and uh, and it won't and it won't shatter. It won't snap if you if you bend it too much. So you could it's it's a bit it's a bit softer and a little bit tougher steel. Um, this this knife is is got a really solid rubber sort of handle here, and it's designed with some holes here and here so that you can actually put a stick in along this divot here and you can strap it to the stick and then have a have yourself a spear um, also the rear of this is designed with a flat spot here so you can use it as a hammer or or, or this this point here is, is supposed to be able to shatter plexiglass and possibly glass too um, making it quite quite a useful knife um, blade length is uh, approximately five inches and uh, it's a pretty fat, fat knife. Portland, Oregon, USA. If you can see that from there. So it's made in USA. Like uh, most of the, the the higher end, so to speak, Gerber's. Great feel in the, in the in the hand. I really like the way this this feels. The the rubber grip is super comfortable. So both hands reverse. It's a great great feeling knife. And uh, because it's got rubber all over the handle, it it it's just it you get great grip, so you don't feel like you're ever going to slip, even in oil and stuff like that. This this stuff holds really good. As you can see, this knife is fairly well used. It's been sharpened quite a few times. Um, the sheath is also quite well made. Two straps here, just in case you want some extra extra holding. And uh, the way it's held in is is through the side here. It's got. Uh, it's got some tension from the plastic here. It just snaps in there. It's uh, this rubberized sort of material, similar to the handle as well, all the way around. And um, it also has an integrated knife sharpener here. So you can see there's a knife sharpener there. You just you remove this, remove, remove these straps here, and then you can just sharpen the knife through the through through here. Just run it through the sharpener. Um, I'm not sure what uh, deg what degree of angle that sharpener is at down there, so I don't know how well it'll work after I've sharpened it myself on my sharp maker. But uh, you know, in a bind, it can't hurt, right? So pretty good, pretty good design here. I, I, li I like the sheath. Um, Gerber does give some pretty decent sheaths with their with their better fixed blades, and, and this is this is an example of one of them. So. Gerber LMF2. It's a pretty good knife. I like it. So, hope you guys enjoy the review. Have a good one.